this is Sheila from the channel Inside Beauty with the Old Girl. Today's video is going to be part two of my 50 random facts about me. I did uh, 25 the first time and I thought it was time to give you the other 25. Of course, I could probably give you 125, but they're all kind of strange, but it's who I am. So anyhow, uh, I invite you to subscribe to my channel. Give me a like if you like it. Leave a comment. Well, unless you're going to say you are really weird. But that's okay because I know I am. And please subscribe to my channel. All right, well, let's get started. Here we go. 25 more random facts about me. See, eventually you're going to get to know me real well. Okay, the first one is I love music. I really do. Because I love to dance, I love to hear music. I'm kind of picky on my music, but I love all kinds. Number two, I am very flexible, meaning body-wise. Um, I'm just a flexible person. I can twist up into any position. I can wrap my legs up around my neck. I can, I'm just very flexible. Um, my dentist called me the pretzel lady. Number three, I love to decorate. And by that I mean decorate in my home. I don't mean like put up Christmas decorations or things like that. Um, I just love it. I, I, I'm not saying I'm good at it, but I really do enjoy it. Number four, I did not graduate from high school. I went to high school up until the last couple weeks and I was getting married. My first husband uh, was over in Vietnam for 13 months. He was due back on May the 10th, and he had to report to his next duty station within like 10 days, and we had a big Catholic wedding planned for May 17th, which is when we got married, and I left with him to go to Cherry Point North Carolina. So I never got to actually graduate with my class. Um, number five, I don't like jeans. I really don't. I very rarely will put on a pair of jeans. I don't like the way they feel. I don't like things touching my legs. I don't like anything tight and I just don't like jeans. Uh, number six, I have to sleep in the cold. Although I'm a very cold-natured person, I'm usually always cold. But when I get in bed at night, I have to have the room in the 60s. I also have the overhead fan blowing on high. just have to sleep that way. But then when I get up, I want it like 80. Number seven, what I eat is based on if I feel like chewing or not. This is another one of my eating weirdnesses. Uh, sometimes my husband will say, uh, oh, do you want me to make you a tuna salad or whatever? And I'll say, well, I don't know. I don't know if I feel like chewing today. Or at night he'll say, um, do you feel like a snack? You know, do you want some, I don't know, just say Cheetos or something? And I'll say, no, I don't feel like chewing. I don't know why. I guess sometimes I'm just too tired to chew. Number eight, I have to put my earrings on when I get up. First thing I do when I get out of bed is go in and wash my face. And the next thing I do is put my earrings on. And then I continue on with skin care and take a shower and makeup and all that. But Gotta have those earrings on. Uh, number nine, I am a high strung and anxious person. Maybe you already guessed that. But yes, I'm hyper, I'm fidgety, I gotta be on the go, and, and I get anxious easily, and I'm just very high strung. Always have been. Runs in the family. Number 10, my favorite singer is Luther Vandross. Uh, oh gosh, my, he, is, he is just it for me. 
I just love all of his songs. I love his voice. Um, I love all his music, and I have all of his music. So he's my number one. My number 11, I don't watch TV except for Hallmark movies, which is true. I don't watch the news. I don't get a newspaper and read the news. I just don't keep up with any of that. But I love Hallmark movies. So that's about all the TV that I watch. Uh, number 12, I am not on social media. I'm on YouTube, but no Facebook, no Instagram, none of the other things. Maybe someday I will be. Maybe my grandchildren will put me on there or talk me into it. But so far, I've never done any of it. Number 13, I had two dogs. I was always afraid of animals, all animals, dogs, cats. Because of the way we were raised, we didn't have dogs or anything. My mother was deathly afraid of dogs. And it's a long story I'll go into in another video, but eventually we did get a dog, a black lab. His name was Chance. We had him for 11 years until he passed away. And then about a year later, we got another black lab. His name was Simon. We had him for seven years until he passed away. I just loved and adored both of those dogs. Number 14, my firstborn will be 50 years old in May. And then my middle son, hmm, I don't know if he'll be 48 or 49 in March. I can't remember. <laughs> And I think my youngest son will be 45 in July. Number 15. I hope this says 15. Um, yeah, I don't decorate for Christmas anymore. I stopped maybe four years ago when we lived in Richmond and the grandchildren were all right there with us. You know, they put up the tree for me and they got all excited and got all the decorations out and did everything. And then when we moved here, I just didn't feel like doing it anymore. So I stopped. Now, the grandchildren do come at Christmas time, but they understand I just don't feel like decorating anymore. Number 16, my dream date night. Oh, my dream date night would be having an early dinner, maybe nachos or something like that, eating them in bed, sitting up on my heating pad with my husband and just chilling and then watch a homework movie. That is my dream date night. We haven't had that for uh, about two years now since my mother came, but we will get back to it and I can't wait. I that's my perfect date. You don't have to get dressed up for it or anything. Number 17, I am very dental phobic, and I mean to the extreme. The dentist, well, really, he should take a nerve pill or have a stiff drink before I show up because I'm awful. I, I won't sit in the chair. I may have an appointment. I'll go in, check in, and then I'll leave. I can't stay. Or maybe I'll make it to the chair, then I have to get out of the chair. When I'm in the chair, I'm all twisted up in a pretzel. My legs are up around my chest. My arms are all folded. I'm, I'm terrible. So God bless the dentist that deals with me. Number 18. Oh, I'm claustrophobic. Yes, I'm very claustrophobic. I have been well, I don't think I was as a teenager, but since my 20s, I have been. I, I can't stand the feeling of being trapped. It's one of the reasons why I don't like the dentist, because they're over top of you and you're, you're trapped. You can't escape. I have to feel like I can escape. I do not fly. I, I don't get in planes. I don't do elevators. And I can't lock a bathroom door like in public. I'll hold the door closed but I will not latch it. I'm afraid I'm going to get trapped. Number 19, I have had a wonderful career. 
Uh, fortunately, I went to work for a radiologist uh, practice back in the 80s. And I was just hired as the receptionist to answer the phone. And I ended up being his office manager. I was there for years and years. Then I opened a medical billing business from home. And I've done that for 30 years. And I've had an amazing career with that. Very, very blessed. Number 20, I am a survivor. I've been through a lot of things in my life. A lot more than I care to count. But the good news is, I survived. And I am a survivor. I'm a fighter, and I know how to make it. And I always have. I always will. Number 22, I am a great friend. I'm loyal, I'm trustworthy, I'm a good listener, and I don't want to sound like I'm bragging or pat myself on the back, but I believe I'm a, I'm a great friend. And if you need a friend, I'm here. Number 23, uh, it's the principle of the thing. Now, what that means to me is, all I know is I will stand and fight for the principle of something. I don't know if that's a negative or a positive, but if the principle of the thing matters to me, and I'm going to fight it to the bitter end. Number 24, uh, this is a plaque that I've had for I don't know how many years probably 40, and it says, I would rather live 50 years like a tiger than 100 years like a chicken. I guess that kind of goes with the principle of the thing, and it's true. I would rather live 50 years like a tiger than 100 years like a chicken. No, nope, not my style. I'm the tiger. And number 25, I am a very grateful person. And I am. I am so grateful for the small things and for the big things, for the tiniest little thing. As I've gotten older, you know, you, you're more aware of things. And I am just a very grateful person for everything, for everybody, for every little blessing, for every smile, for everything. So I'll leave you with a beauty tip today, and, well, I kind of said one for the outside about being grateful. Um, that's going to be an outside and an inside beauty tip, because I am grateful for little things. When somebody smiles at me or says hello, it means something. When I can get out of bed and my legs move, it means something. I'm grateful for it. Um, when I get a little time to myself, I'm grateful. I have that time for me. And as far as the inside beauty tip, you know, we all have uh, differences about us. You know, we're all different, yet really we're all the same. Now, as far as being different, well, you heard mine. Uh, they might be called weird, but, you know, it's who I am. We all have our little things about us and... We all just deal with them. I just embrace them because it's who I am. You know, I know God loves me just the way I am because he created me. So I know I'm accepted and loved. And so why not embrace what I have and who I am? It's just me. So that's my inside beauty tip. Embrace who you are, even the things that... Oh, may seem strange to other people. If it's who you are, then it's you. So love you. Well, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. You learned a little more about me. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I'll leave that up to you. Until we meet again, this is the old girl signing out. See ya.